A long time ago in Småland in southern Sweden, there was a little boy by the name of Emil. And Emil lived with his mother and his father and the little sister Ida. And they had a farmhand and a maid. And one day they were having meatball soup, which was Emil's favorite soup. Oh, he loved it so much. And everybody was eating and everybody was sitting around the farmhouse and they were so happy. And there was one little bit of soup left in that bowl. And that soup bowl, and Emil wanted it. And he couldn't get it out with a spoon, so he figured there was only one way to get that soup out of the bowl and into him. And so he stuck his head into the soup bowl and you could hear a large as he finished off that wonderful meatball soup. Oh, it was delicious. And then he tried to get his hand head out <laughs> of the soup bowl. But can you imagine he couldn't do it? And he shook and he stood and he tore up that pole and it wouldn't come off and he started yelling and jumping around and screaming and oh, the whole family, oh no, we can't, what will we do? And Alfred, the farmhand who was very strong, picked up the soup bowl by his handle and lifted it away up. And Amos' feet was kicking in the air and he was yelling, Put me down, slap me, slap me. What to be done? There was clearly only one thing to be done, said Amos' mama. And that was we must go to the doctor in Mariana Lund, who will get Amos' head out of the soup bowl. Ah, but Amos' father said, ah, it will cost us five crowns to get that boy's head out of the soup bowl. We can't do that. But Amos' mama was insistent, we must get our son out of that. So it was time to hurry. And everybody had to put on their best clothes because back in those days, you dressed when you went to the doctor. And so she put on Amos' best clothes and his tie and his shoes and then of course, she had to clean his ears, so she put on a rag and she tried to put her finger up under the soup bowl so she could clean his ears. And imagine her hand got stuck in the soup bowl. Oh no! And Amos Papa came in and the drain and Alfred came in. They were all screaming and yelling and Amos Papa said, is there anyone else who wants to get stuck in the soup bowl? But happily, she managed to get her hand out. And so, uh, Alfred hooked up the horses to the wagon. Off they went to Mariana Lund. And they went uphill and downhill and past all the places that Emil loved so much, but he couldn't see anything. So he kept asking, Papa, Papa, are we by the place where the pigs are? Are we placed by the place where they make all those wonderful pancakes? And Papa, Emil's Papa had to give him all the answers. And it was so long. Finally, they got to the doctor's office. And they walked in, and all the people in Mariana Lund knew about Emil because he always gets into trouble. And everybody looked at Emil with the soup bowl on his head, and nobody said anything except one little man who thought it was very funny. He said, Ha ha ha, Emil! <laughs> What's wrong, little boy? Are your ears cold? But Emil said, No, my ears are not cold. I have a nice warm soup bowl on my head. And they walked in the doctor's office. And Amos' papa said, uh, Good doctor, and could the doctor take my son's head out of the soup bowl for <clears throat> three crowns? And the doctor said, Mm-hmm. And now, Emil, as he walked in, was a very polite boy, even though he did get into trouble. And what you do when you walk into the doctor's office is, of course, you bow to the doctor. And as Emil bowed to show respect to the doctor, oh, he couldn't see anything, and he hit his head well, his soup bowl on the doctor's desk and paying it split into two halves. And the doctor said, you are very lucky because I usually charge five crowns to take little boys' heads <laughs> out of soup bowls. Imagine how happy Amos Papa was. And he took the two halves of the soup bowl back in the wagon with him and said, ah, I will be able to glue this back together and all will be well. And if it had been any other little boy, it certainly would have been well. But as they were driving back, Emil's papa said, Well, Emil, you saved me five crowns, so I'm going to give you five cents. Femme heure. Oh, Emil was rich, and he played with it, and he looked at the coin, and he wanted to taste it, because that's what you do with coins when you're a five-year-old boy. Imagine, 
they had the coin in his mouth tasting how wonderful it was and they hit a bump and you could hear a <coughs> in the back of the wagon he had swallowed the coin oh no said Amos mama we must run back I mean I didn't complain when he swallowed those buttons but a coin is very hard it could injure my little boys we must turn back and go to the doctor now now Amos papa was a logical man he said are you crazy woman we're going to spend five crowns to get five cents out of my son's stomach that makes no logical sense at all but Amos mama was insistent they went back to the doctors and the doctor said not to worry that coin it won't hurt him but you probably want to give him some nice bread to keep it company in his stomach until it comes out the <clears throat> normal way all that seemed reasonable <laughs> now Amos Papa was incredibly happy because now he had not merely saved five crowns he had now saved ten crowns oh he was overjoyed Emil said, can we stop at Fröken Andersen's bakery, bakery and get some nice buns to keep my coin company? Oh no, said his papa, because it is very expensive. Your mother can make buns at home, but they're never as good, you know. So Emil, who was clever, thought for a moment, said, Papa, I have five cents inside me, fem er där. When it comes out, I will pay you back if I can buy some buns today. <laughs> and Abel's papa thought about it. With all that money, he was very confused. He said, certainly. And so they went to Thurk and Anderson's bakery and they bought five big, wonderful buns. And he even had one ur left over and he bought some candies for his little sister, Ida. Ah, it was wonderful. And, there was, and as they were driving back, Emil was eating the buns and he was a very happy boy. And they got home. And Emil's papa immediately took the two halves of the bowl, went back, glued them together. You could not even tell it had ever been broken. Ah, what a wonderful thing. And later on that evening, Emil and Lila Ida were sitting there in the parlor looking at the m a marvelous soup bowl which had gone all the way to Mariana Lund. How many soup bowls have ever gone so far? And little Ida, she said, Emil, how did you get your head stuck in that soup bowl? And Emil said, well, it was very simple. All I did was this. And he put his head back into the soup bowl. And can you imagine it got stuck again. And he started jumping out and screaming and yelling and Amos' mama came running into the room and she saw her little boy with a soup bowl over his head and she panicked. She grabbed the poker and she went, PING! And the soup bowl shattered into a million pieces all over the room. And Amos' papa, who had heard the commotion, came running in and all he saw was his little boy standing there little shards of soup bowl all over the room and his wife holding that poker and he did not say a thing turned around and walked out but he did have one small cons consolation because two days later when the coin came out in the <coughs> normal way Emil cleaned it off and gave it back to his papa and that's what happened on the 14th of August when Emil got his head stuck in the soup bowl and they had to go all the way to Mariana Lund for the doctor to get it out. <laughs>